Warning, the following article contains spoilers from Peaky Blinders Season 6, Episode 1. Tommy Shelby, played by Killian Murphy, had traveled to North America as the prohibition was coming to an end in the new installment of Peaky Blinders. As he began to tie up loose ends so he could start a new life on the West Coast with wife Lizzie, Natasha O'Keefe, he received a call which left him shaken. Lizzie was expected to travel to North America with their children, Charles and Ruby, but called Tommy to explain they wouldn't make it in time for Christmas. As she detailed why, Tommy was left shaken by what she said. What does Tickner Mora and Obang mean? Hello Lizzie, everything alright? Tommy asked, clearly unimpressed with being contacted. Lizzie replied, Tommy, it's Ruby. She's not well. She's got a temperature of 101, the doctors just left. What did he say? Tommy asked as his wife continued, he says it's flu but he's going to come later to check on her. She's been coughing and Tommy he said it's not a good idea for us to travel. I can't board that ship to Boston today. Tommy reassured her, it's alright Lizzie, don't worry, don't worry you just stay there and get her better and... I can speak to her? Lizzie said their daughter was sleeping and Tommy agreed to let her rest, adding, Lizzie I've a bit more business to do here. Look, just book a new passage when Ruby's feeling better. It doesn't matter if you're not getting here for Christmas, just as long as you get here. And then I'll get this business done, you get here with the children and then no more. It will just be us and the clean air out on the west. I found a place in the mountains, there will be snow. Tell Ruby I'll build her a snowman. How long has she been coughing? Lizzie answered, a few days, she's been out running wild with Johnny Dog's kids out in the cold by the river. Are you okay Tommy? Your voice, it sounds different. Tommy reassured her he was just cold and wanted to be with his family, I just want to pick Ruby up and hold her in my arms, I miss the weight of holding her. Talking about Ruby, Lizzie began to worry Tommy when she detailed how ill she was the night before. She was burning up, she was delirious, she recalled. She kept talking. Johnny's kids have been teaching her to speak gypsy. When she was delirious she kept saying these gypsy words, Tickner Mara, Tickner Mara, Obang, Obang, over and over again. Worried, Tommy asked, Lizzie what did you say? What did Ruby say? As Lizzie repeated it, Tommy shouted, did she say any other words you didn't understand? Did she say other words in Romani? Just Tickner Mora and Dobying? Could she see anything when she was burning up? Please just answer the F King question. Lizzie explained Ruby said she could see a man with green eyes but insisted she was delirious. Tommy insisted he would return home immediately, giving Lizzie instructions on how to help their daughter. Dot keep her out of school, keep her away from the river, don't let her ride a horse or go near a horse, he instructed. Tell Johnny Dogs and his wife the words Ruby's been saying. Tell Johnny's wife to put a black Madonna around her neck. Listen to Esmeralda the same way you listen to a doctor. Get Curly there and tell him to stay in the stable with Ruby's horses. You do everything that Johnny Dogs and his F King wife tell you. I'm sorry Lizzie, do you understand? As Lizzie agreed to do as instructed, Tommy began to pace around the room before speaking to Polly, Polly, they know I'm trying to get out. 
Polly, they're coming for me. Express.co.uk has researched the meaning of the word spoken by Ruby to find out what the warning could signal. In Romani, Obeng means devil and could signal one of Tommy's enemies is taking revenge and hoping to ruin his life by targeting his children. Tikner, or as it's more commonly spelled Tikna, means little girl, so it's no wonder Tommy is terrified for his daughter. Could Ruby be in trouble and will Tommy make it back to Birmingham to reunite with his daughter? Fans will have to wait until episode 2 to see why Tommy is so worried but it seems it could lead to a reunion with Alfie Solomons, Tom Hardy. The synopsis for episode 2 reads, Tommy gets involved in a power game with fascists, freedom fighters and Boston gangsters. As the players plan to double-cross him, Tommy visits an old ally in Camden. Peaky Blinders continues Sunday on BBC One at 9pm.